Hi, this is Mike from Bushcraft Cams UK. It's about 8 o'clock in the evening here, uh, 7 o'clock in the evening, and I wasn't going to make any videos this time out. I, uh, I decided this one was just for me, but I thought I'd bring the camera in case I saw anything cool or, or uh, interesting. And I've just made a, a meal, as I am the chef on our outings, and um, it is probably the best that I've ever managed to do. So I've decided to do a bit of a, a show and tell. Uh, and give a recipe out as well um, which was originally my father's which I've adapted and changed around to suit and uh, yeah so this is it okay <coughs> it's a six quart Dixie tin with a lid let's take that off and this is the substance within now, I know that might look like gloop, but trust me, that's got pretty much everything you need. It's absolutely lovely. It tastes gorgeous. You can see the heat coming off of it there. <coughs> right. So, what, what does it contain? It contains carrots, carrots, celery, onion and mushrooms and meat whatever kind of meat you want sorry the fire it's just decided to all of a sudden go a bit smoky um, now what I do is I sort of three quarters fill the Dixie tin with water then I chop my vegetables my onions my carrots my celery uh, my mushrooms and I put them all in there then I hang that over the fire using the five notches there I hang that over the fire and uh, right close to the fire to start with to get the water boiling and I will leave that on there for about uh, an hour half an hour um, just to get it boiling and then I will start cooking my meat whatever that may be and I tend to try and cook the meat a little bit slower keep it back from the fire slightly so it's slightly more tender and after about an hour and a half of letting the water boil cooking the vegetables I will put some stock cubes also stock cubes in some beef oxo stock, uh, maybe one or two. Uh, I put pepper in, black pepper, about a teaspoonful uh, uh, of that in. Then about a ten pence piece in the palm of your hand of salt. Uh, the same of thyme and oregano. I put that in, mix that all up. Uh, then I put flour in. Now, that's a judgment call which I make on the day as opposed to having an actual level that I put in. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's normally about two sort of handfuls if you grab it out of the bag um, straight in there. Um, but I, I crush it up as I go, I mix it in slowly so it doesn't clump. Um, give that a good mix in and that just sort of thickens it up because you don't want it to be water but at the same time you don't want to be goop either and then I will hang that back onto the um, the, the, the uh, sort of third rung up over the fire so it doesn't cook quickly but it cooks reasonably fast um, I leave that for about another 20 minutes and then I will put um, of actual butter, anchor butter is what I use um, two sort of thumb slither thumb sort of size slither blocks of um, of that in there and mix that in so it all melts up really nice then I put the meat in 
I'll give it about another 20 minutes and over the fire and that is absolutely perfect really really nice um, I mean you don't have, have to put meat in you can have a uh, vegetable soup if you want I mean you've already used beef stock so you know I don't know what you would use in instead of that but there's the basic outline of what I use so um, yeah and it is absolutely gorgeous that tin the Dixie set um, can you just shine the light on here please thank you um, that Dixie set will actually be about three quarters full to about this line here um, and that can feed up to eight people um, but Alex and I have been gannets tonight because we're very hungry and it is really really tasty um, and so we've we've eaten more than half of it <laughs> more than half of it we've eaten that just goes to show how tasty we really think it is so um, yeah I mean if you try the recipe you like it I mean even try it at home um, just on the hob of course you've got to reduce the times that that you've, uh, you you put it on the hob um, I mean it should take you an hour at home it takes about two hours here just depends how um, sort of well cooked you want it to be uh, you can leave it on there for two three four hours if you're busy working you put it on at lunchtime and then by the time you've finished whatever you're doing you've got a really really nice tender meal really uh, you know soft veg it's gorgeous um, but yeah I mean I, I do it for about two hours but if any of you guys actually try it and give it a go please give us a reply um, just show us what you do or how you think it is uh, or comment just saying you know um, I thought this was good or I thought it was bogging just let us know um, because we really enjoy it don't we Al? Oh, yeah, yeah? <laughs> uh, got a happy camper brilliant and um, yeah so there you go little recipe for you